oscillator using Mathematica, first of all. Uh, this code does a little bit more than the other two codes do, because it also calculates all the matrix elements in a really smart way, very succinctly. So we first, in those three lines over here, what we do over here is that we define the notation that k of n denotes just the cat n. Uh, so cf, which I put in here, is just a number multiplying the cat. Uh, that could well be 1. Uh, we need to put the 1 in there because what we're trying to do is trying to simplify this expression. But um, if there's no number multiplying it, we need to make sure that Mathematica understand that it's still the same formula applies. Uh, it just needs to assume the number is 1, which is what this notation over here means. So this says that x on any number which could well be 1, multiplying with k of any number n, it gives me root n plus 1 times kn plus 1 times cf plus cf times root n times kn minus 1. That's exactly the relation we've already written in the notes before. And we also need to take into account that if I now have x acting on a sum of two objects, it, the result is actually x acting on the two objects. Then what we can do is we can do x of x of x of x of k of n and collect it with K. The collection really means that terms that have the same structure with k get combined and the full simplify means the expression we get over there gives, is given in whatever Mathematica thinks is the simplest forms. So let's look at that. So we first of all find it's root n, root n minus 1, root n minus 2, root n minus 3 times kn minus 4 plus 2 root n minus 1 times root n 2n minus 1, kn minus 2, plus 3 plus 6n times 1 plus n times kn, that's the diagonal term, plus 2 root n plus 1 times n plus 2 times 2n plus 3 times k2n plus 2, and finally root n plus 1 plus n plus 2 plus n plus 3 plus n plus 4 times kn plus 4. So that's exactly the thing we're going to implement in the next relation. It's also implemented in all the other codes. So first what we do, we define a function that calculates the matrix elements. In this case, the matrix elements of x to the fourth over 4. What we do is 1 16th, and what we do over here, based on the value of n minus m, which can be minus 4, minus 2, 0, 2, or 4, we actually put in the numbers we had over there, and we plug in exactly those terms. The only thing we also put in there, if it's not one of those five values, clearly the answer is going to be zero. And then what we do in the next line is actually we calculate the eigenvalues corresponding to the full Hamiltonian. So we multiply this thing by lambda. And if m is equal to n, we just put n plus a half in there, which is the harmonic oscillator. And what we just do is we do it for max plus one terms, which is exactly what we have over there. So then we do a few calculations with that. First of all, we calculate what happens if we take lambda equals zero and calculate 10 eigenvalues. No big surprise that we should exactly find from a half to 10 and a half. We can also do the opposite. We can take lambda equals 0.1, but only take one eigenvalue, the lowest one. And what we see over here is that lowest eigenvalue has shifted up by a little bit due to the effect of the quartic oscillator. The answer is not correct, however, because if you do the same thing with 11 states, from 0 to 10, we see that the energy changes by a little bit, and we've overestimated the energy by the first calculation we've done over there. And actually, if we do the same thing again with 101 states, we still find that the energy was right, so 10 is probably more than enough to get this answer correct. Finally, we do two more things. We take it to be... We take the value of 1 and we do it with 10 states and 100 states. And once again, you can clearly see that in this stage, stage there st is still a bit different between 10 and 100. So you need to work a little bit harder. And you could, for example, see what happens over here by plotting some eigenstate versus n and seeing what happens. But you definitely will start noticing over here that things start occurring in pairs. And you may want to think why the patterns start occurring in pairs rather than 
individual reasons. There's a good argument for that, but it would be really nice if you could explain that to us.